welcome. And if you've got a scroll saw like this one here, and this is a Craftsman 23 inch scroll saw, it's quite old, but it does have a little bit of vibration still. I've managed to curb a lot of the vibration, but we still have some vibration. And I think I've found one of the causes. There's probably several causes, but I think I could limit some of the vibration if I solve this one little issue. Now, if I just show you, I've got my older Rabone square then. I'll run the saw and just watch the, the actual square. Well, that clearly is vibrating. It's not like a Pegasus. Um, if you know a Pegasus, a Pegasus is another scroll saw and they don't vibrate. Well, pretty much they don't vibrate. They're very good indeed. And generally, the saw should be fairly good. But it does have a bit of vibration still. Which is a little bit annoying. And that's on high, that is. On low, there's very little vibration. A little bit, not a lot. Not as you like shaky vibration. It's just the whole thing kind of wobbling on the stand. But, um... I think I've found the cause, but before we get into it, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Yes, vibration on this particular scroll saw and possibly with others with this type of um, pinless blade holder arrangement. I've got one of these on the top and I've got one on the bottom. Now, if I grab my square, and that's why I've got the square here really, if I put that across here, I don't know if you can see that, but that holder, top holder, has a gap at the top and it's touched on the side. It's not sitting perfectly flat on the arm of the scroll saw now if i just get some just i show you a little bit clearer that there's a problem there a bit of shaving on the floor from my number seven bailey hand plane did uh, if i just run up there you can see uh, slots in there it's really loose oh i can't see let me go on the other side if i put that against there hold that there you can see that's really that's loose there slots in there easily so there's a gap but there's no gap at the bottom so that blade holder is not running perpendicular to this table. So what that's doing is crabbing the actual pinless blade. So the top holder is not um, perpendicular or parallel. No, it's not parallel or perpendicular. Oh, anyway, it's not in line with the bottom holder. So what we're doing is we're putting a, uh, a bit of a crab to, onto the blade. We're, so we're twisting the blade. We're trying to bend the blade to actually make it run true. Now... This should be a fairly easy fix. And thing what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to remove this blade holder and where that blade holder sits into a little groove in the top of this arm, I'm going to file it on one side so this actual holder then sits straighter, more in line with the blade. And that should take out some of the vibration. Now, I think there's some other causes of vibration on this particular machine, which are probably very similar on other machines, such as the linkage from the motor to the bottom arm. Uh, but other than that, it's actually quite a good machine. I don't mind at all. And besides, you know, it only cost me 60 euros, so it was a bargain and after I restored it. So that's one of the problems I can see with a scroll saw, and a lot of scroll saws have this a very similar type of um, holder. Now, some people have told me, oh, yeah, those machines, they take pinned blades. Well, no, they don't. They, they have this holder that sits into a little groove. So if you haven't got this holder, you've got a bit missing. You'll have to get some new holders for it. Um, but, the, yeah, it's a good machine other than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that correction. And in another video, I'm going to show you what I've done and that the actual, hopefully, has cut some of that vibration down. Uh, it's not quite so vibrate -y. Right, anyway, thank you for watching, and don't forget to click like and subscribe.